Thanks, Stu. Donnie, I'm going to turn to you and 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 talk a little bit because obviously the um, the IEBW played a fairly significant role in in Illinois. But you know, can you talk more broad, uh, more broadly about you know what what the IEBW uh, strategy is here going forward? How are how are you approaching how are you approaching this challenge? You know, we're very fortunate. Our our locals and the senator can tell you that our locals are very active. Uh, and each of the state legislative bodies. And, and this is where it has to be addressed right now until there, there is a federal answer to one, how do you, how do you keep nuclear, uh, have them competitive on the grid and operating? And what is the value of nuclear? Uh, I know in Illinois, the, the last, uh, not this past one, but the one before that, that we talked about with the Exelon properties, we done a nuclear symposium, very similar to the one that uh, uh, the walkthroughs now. And I know we did in Ohio, we did in New Jersey as well. And the, the whole issue for the IBEW is being able to communicate the value of nuclear. Not only is it providing clean energy, but it's providing blue collar union jobs. The vast majority of, in fact, I believe nuclear is the most unionized sector of the energy business itself. Uh, very, very good blue collar jobs. And once you can, you can have the ability to talk about the value of nuclear and the number of jobs, then you can get into the communities without that tax base, without the, the nuclear facility in their homes. That, that funds your, your police departments, your fire departments, your community centers, your Metro United Way. All of that falls underneath a nuclear facility. And we just don't see a future for clean energy of reducing CO2 without nuclear being part of that mix. And part of that mix means a lot of very good jobs as the Senator was talking about, not only for the IBEW, but for those that may be in management at these facilities as well. So we're very active. We see that right now as a state level issue that we have to address on a state by state. And then working with the Nuclear Energy Institute in Washington, DC and the operators themselves, we see that we need to address nuclear at a federal level so that this battle does not take place and every single state that we have an operation uh, proceeding. So thank you, Craig. Yeah, no, thanks, Donnie. 